The two main US presidential candidates may be neck and neck in the polls, but as far as celebrity support is concerned, the current occupant of the White House is streets ahead of his opponent. And with the November 6th election just days away, these well-known faces are pulling out all the stops to convince the people of America to vote for Barack Obama. The latest initiative is this song performed by a group of artists including Neo and Herbie Hancock. It's called Forward in reference to the Democrat candidate's slogan and urges Americans to vote for Obama so he can continue the work begun during his first term in office. The clip is strongly reminiscent of Will I Am's famous 2008 campaign song Yes We Can, which was a huge viral hit four years ago and soon became the campaign anthem for the man who was to become the 44th president of the USA. Another celeb recently to have reiterated support for the Democrat candidate, actress Lena Dunham, star of TV series Girls. She features in this campaign video specifically targeting young female voters. Dunham compares first-time voting to the first time and says you have to really think about who you can trust. And the stars are really busy in swing states, as we can see in this video, for example, geared towards undecided voters in Wisconsin. Half a dozen well-known faces from small and silver screen emphasize the important role residents will play in the upcoming election. They remind viewers they can actually cast their ballot before voting day, but that it is absolutely essential everyone makes their voice heard between now and November 6th. Right now, you don't have to wait until November Flooded roads, uprooted trees and mass power outages. Social networks have become inundated with photos uploaded by American web users bearing witness to the devastating impact of Hurricane Sandy. But some of these shots actually fakes and have nothing to do with the violent storm that hit the United States east coast. This staggering photo of the Statue of Liberty which has been widely shared on Facebook is in fact the result of some nifty photo editing. It was produced from a photo taken in Nebraska back in 2004 by professional photographer Mike Hollingshead. This pic is supposed to show soldiers from the National Guard braving Hurricane Sandy at the military cemetery in Arlington. The photo hasn't been tampered with but was actually taken last month in very heavy rain. The title of this photo says it's a fast food restaurant in Virginia flooded due to Hurricane Sandy. In reality, it's a still from a film made for an art installation back in 2009. And finally, this image was posted online by a female blogger who claims it shows a shark roaming the flooded streets of Ocean City. It is, again, a hoax and no more real than it was last year when it was posted online following Hurricane Irene. Countless web users have been fooled by the false testimonials circulating online and for media outlets like the Wall Street Journal, for example, this only re-emphasizes the dangers of misinformation on the internet and the importance of verifying the authenticity of images before sharing them online. <laughs> Members of the Occupy Wall Street movement are urging the people of New York to show solidarity with victims of Hurricane Sandy and help where they can. The anti-capitalist activists have joined forces with Recovers.org to coordinate their efforts. They're focusing on the poorer areas of the city. As we can see in these photos posted to Facebook, food has been distributed to residents of Red Hook and Rockaway where damage caused by the superstorm has been particularly severe. And with thousands of homes still without power, campaigners have set up welcome centres like this one, where locals can recharge their mobile phones and also procure basic supplies. Social networkers are asked to use the hashtag SandyAid to inform volunteers of any places requiring help. Appeals for emergency materials like blankets, candles and batteries are being circulated online, along with appeals for donations to help fund reconstruction projects in the long term. The east coast of the US is gradually getting back on its feet after the hurricane. Web users are organising clean-up operations in their neighbourhoods. Initiatives launched in parallel with those run by the authorities, also recruiting volunteers via the web to get the region back to normal life as quickly as possible. In this video, we see two surfers in wetsuits surfing through Manhattan just a few days before the arrival of Hurricane Sandy. An astonishing idea and a totally novel way of getting around the Big Apple.
Halloween has been and gone, and now it's time to get rid of all those decorative pumpkins. And as the website Thrash Lab demonstrates in this video, it can be quite a fun task. The clip suggests 10 ways of smashing your unwanted pumpkin. You could use a baseball bat, a chainsaw, or you could quite simply throw it off the roof. 